Hi, my name is Adrian Herrera and I'm the Senior Director of Marketing at Coringo. Today I'm going to show you how to download and deploy the Castor Virtual Edition. I'm going to show you one of the many ways to upload and access files and I'm also going to show you how to access the Castor Admin Console. Now Castor is object storage software that runs on any x86 server hardware and pools resources to create a highly scalable, highly efficient, and cost-effective unified storage solution. Castor and object storage in general is ideal for big data storage, for cloud storage infrastructure, and as general storage infrastructure for the long-term retention of unstructured data. Now we developed the Castor VM to enable rapid evaluation of Castor. Uh, yes, Castor was always easy to install, but hardware procurement often delayed the process. Uh, now you can download and deploy the market-leading object storage engine on your laptop in just a few minutes or you know, on, on a server in just a few minutes. Now I want to point out that Castor is basically virtualization software which virtualizes hardware and networking resources to create a unified pool of storage. So running it in another virtualization environment or another virtualization layer does degrade performance. If you would like to run Castor in a production environment or test performance, we do recommend installing on dedicated hardware. Now to access or download the Castor VM, you will need a Coringo Connect account. You can get one by clicking on the developer's link at the bottom of coringo.com or typing in connect.coringo.com in any browser. I already have an account, but if you need one, you can go ahead and register. Registration is free, it's quick, it should only take you a few minutes. I already have my account though. So I'll go ahead and log in. And once logged in, I'm going to be looking for the download Castor button up here in the left-hand corner. I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. I'll be given two options. Uh, these are both 32-bit versions. They're both full-featured, fully functional, and include a two terabyte license. The difference is the one on the left is software for dedicated hardware. The one on the right is uh, the VM package. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the VM package. Uh, you'll notice here are the supported virtualization platforms. On Windows, we do support VMware ESXi and VMware Player. On Mac, we do support Fusion. Uh, I'm installing on a Mac today, so I'll show you a Fusion install. Um, I do encourage you to carefully read the considerations for deploying Castor in VMs. Uh, you should also read the EULA. We have a few questions here for you to answer, uh, nothing too detailed. Once you answer them, you can go ahead and click on the Download Castor Now button. Um, I went ahead and pre-downloaded it uh, to save us some time here, but it's not that big. It's about 130 to 138 megabytes, so it should take you a few minutes depending on your, um, on your network connection. Now I'll go ahead and unpackage this. Uh, the VM consists of three images, each represent a cast or node. Uh, you need a minimum of three nodes to fully evaluate our data protection functionality. Uh, ideally, you would also be using separate physical hardware for each node. But for the purposes of the demo today, I'm installing everything on my laptop. Uh, if you do install on three different chassis, then if any one of them fails, you still have full functionality of your, your, your cluster and you'll have rapid and automatic recovery back to two replicas of everything. So here are the three images. I'm gonna go ahead and open up my virtualization software. Uh, to save us a step, I'm just gonna go ahead and open and run the images. Once you open and run them, you may be asked a few questions. You may be asked if you want to upgrade uh, the VMs, go ahead and select yes, you do want to upgrade. Uh, you may also be asked if you want to, or if you have moved or copied the VMs, if you are asked that question, uh, just go ahead and say that you copied them. Now, while the installation process happens in the background, uh, now's a good time to uh, explain why Castor is technically superior to other uh, traditional storage technologies. Um, first, Castor is highly scalable and highly efficient. Uh, software and indexes live in RAM. We like to say disks are only for data. Uh, uh, architecture is symmetric. All nodes perform all operations. There are no single points of failure and no bottlenecks. Uh, from an accessibility standpoint, uh, we offer global accessibility. Uh, the native interface to Castor is HTTP 1.1. Once you upload a file, you will get a 128-bit UUID. Uh, you, can also use, uh, you can also name that object if you wish. All you would need is the IP address and that UUID to access that file, regardless of where it is in the uh, cluster. And since indexes live in a RAM, uh, lookup is extremely fast, zero IOPS to the first lookup or first bit uh, to the file. 
Um, Castor is highly automated and intelligent. We do offer uh, the ability to customize metadata. Metadata is actionable. Uh, we do include self-optimization, self-healing, and also self-balancing. So to expand uh, your cluster, it really is just plugging in drives and uh, everything provisions. There's, there's no provisioning or lawn man management or anything like that. You plug in the drives to expand. Now, installation is complete. Uh, that was pretty quick. It only took uh, a few minutes to uh, unpackage and install. Uh, here are the IP addresses of the nodes. Uh, you'll notice each of the images has its own IP address. I'm going to go ahead and write this one down, 10.0.18. And I will type it in 0.1.18 forward slash demo forward slash index dot html to access the evaluation guide. So you can type in any one of the IP addresses forward slash demo forward slash index dot html to get to this guide. Uh, there's a few different sections here. We show you how to upload files. Uh, we give you a simple utility, which is also pre-installed with your cluster. Um, we also give you a download link to the content file server VM, which is a file system interface to Castor. So if you do want to upload via SIFS, NFS, FTP, or WebDAV, uh, go ahead and download the CFS VM. There's full instructions with the download. Uh, we give you a link to the management console. Uh, we also give you links to our uh, sample code and utilities library, and we also include full documentation, which is pre-installed. I'm going to show you how to upload a file. So I'll click on the upload utility link. I'll go ahead and choose a file. I'm going to choose a photo so I can show you how easy it is to access. I'll go ahead and press start. Now uh, that's it. Upload is complete. Uh, once complete, you'll notice I get the UUID. All I need is a server address and UUID to access that file. Uh, you can go ahead and right-click on this link, copy the link address, open up a browser window, and paste it in. And there you go. There's a file I just uploaded. You could send that link to your mobile phone. You could send it really to any application or device uh, that can access the network that your Castor cluster is on. Um, you can also set permissions on these files. That's how easy it is to upload and access files. Now I'm going to show you uh, how to access the admin console. I'm not going to walk you through a detailed demo. I'm just going to show you how to get to it. You can type in any one of the IP addresses and go to port 90. Or you can go to the pre-installed evaluation guide and click on this link here. Uh, you'll notice uh, here are all your nodes. Uh, they're all running. Um, again, I'm not going to walk you through a full demo here, but a few things I did want to point out. You can drive down on any one of the nodes by clicking on the IP address. Uh, you could click to get more information regarding that node. And again, if you want more detailed information on the admin console, you can view the documentation. And once again, I'll show you where that documentation is. So I'll go back to the evaluation guide. And we offer full documentation here at these links below. Uh, I also encourage you to click on these links or just go to Coringo Connect and take a look at the sample code and utilities uh, that we have for you to help you get started integrating Castor into your application or device. Uh, it's pretty easy to do, especially with the SDKs. We offer an SD SDKs uh, for Java, for Python, for C++, and for C Sharp. Um, so there you have it. I uh, showed you how to download and install and deploy a Castor cluster. I uh, showed you how to upload and access a file. And I uh, showed you how to access the admin console and where documentation is. Um, if you have any questions, just fill out the contact form on Coringo.com. And I want to thank you for your interest in Castor and thank you for your interest in Coringo.